it's it's nice of you to, to join me again after all the stuff I put you through on your channel. That's absolutely fine, and I, and thank you for texting this time like I asked you to. It wasn't so difficult, was it? You didn't have to kidnap me. Oh, well, you know, I gotta make it exciting. Uh, well, a Serbian film wasn't enough. <laughs> for the well, film. it's gonna be lighter today. We're gonna talk about Chaplin, you know. Charlie Chaplin. I feel well. Oh. oh, right. Then. Where do we start? Hi, I'm Clowny Quinn. And I'm the founder of the Cinema Schlock Society, which you can find on Narcotic Casserole Productions on YouTube. Link wherever you put oh, the yeah, link. Oh yeah, the link will be down below. Down below. And today we're going to talk about uh, Charlie, uh, Charlie, uh, Charlie Chaplin, the we're, greatest we're, guy ever. Uh, well, I had a crush on him. That's sort of specifically, debatable. Specifically, you know what? Mm -hmm. Just let me have this, okay? Okay. Just let me have we this. We can have this. <sighs> We're talking about specifically the '92 movie, mm. and he was played by amazing, super equally sexy Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> I won't lie. He even even that during his days of overblown alcoholism and drug abuse, he was still quite fetching. I won't deny, he was actually quite, and you are absolutely right, this was indeed a career-defining performance for him, and it takes a lot to embody one of the greatest physical comedians of all time, but my god, it was like, it was like so Chaplin good. resurrected. Yes. Absolutely. so great, as Charlie as well as, as the Tramp, so mm. it was, but the movie starts with my favorite, my favorite way that movies like this start is him putting on his makeup and getting in the tramp attire yes. and it just, oh, oh, it just <laughs> warms my heart and makes me so happy. Absolutely. And it's it's basically about his life, like they take some liberties of course. Well, find me a biopic that doesn't. <laughs> I mean, I mean they gotta unfo make it more unfortunately. Exciting. They make him a little bit more sympathetic. Yeah. Some but but fortunately, this one doesn't have him being diagnosed with AIDS before the time when he actually was diagnosed with AIDS. God, Bohemian Rhapsody. Screw that film. Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that film. I like the song too much. I do too. <laughs> Love Queen, and any good Queen film should fan should hate that film. Mm -hmm. But digressing, yes, this film actually does start during his impoverished days when he was a little one, and yes. also with his mother yes. with a gradual she decline. Was crazy. Well, she became crazy Coo from the Coo pressure for cocoa puffs. Her, <laughs> yeah, and so basically they have it where he is taking on her roles that she's too to take on. Actually, an interesting bit of trivia. Mm -hmm. uh, his mom was played by Geraldine Chaplin. Do you do the math? Yes, that actually was, I believe, the great, I believe the granddaughter of uh, Charlie Chaplin. But nevertheless, that was a, there's a legacy in this film, and uh, and it's definitely quite spectacular. She delivers an amazing performance. There's actually a very heartbreaking scene later on where you see that as her state, mental state, is kind of deteriorated, where she starts crushing bread crumbs into her hands. Yeah, and he just can't handle and it. He doesn't want to be a part. He doesn't want to. It's absolutely really sad, and. Uh, yeah, just a bit. And let's now, despite the fact this film is about one of the greatest comedic minds of all time, and there are wonderful scenes of hilarity. Mm. He was it's, a sad guy. He was, yes. he, you know, it, not, love never really worked out for him. Not really. Mm. Like, oh, and it was just always kind of uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. The fascinating masterstroke, Moira Kelly, plays the woman he fancied a long time ago when he was on the vaudeville circuit. Mm. And then she ends up assuming the different role of the woman who Ch Chaplin inevitably settled with mm -hmm. in time. So that was a very fascinating bit of casting right there, mm -hmm. or a nice directorial flourish. So actually, um, it was also directed by Richard Attenborough. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> You've done wonderful work. You directed Gandhi. Unfortunately, that's what we're always going to remember you for. <laughs> One line basically defined your entire career, and it's not even a film you directed. I'm very sorry, Sir Richard. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Ugh, but yes, it's a wonderful movie. It's kind of mm. long. It's yes. a long movie. Lengthy. But it's it's so good. Um, it has great moments. But I, I'm just... Every bit that he is the tramp is oh, just, yes. just magical. <laughs> magical for me. And I wish he could just reimagine all, mm. all of the movies. All the movies. <laughs> it would be lovely to see like a full reel. I'd like to think that Sir Richard maybe did an entire demo reel entirely composed of Robert Downey Jr. recreating all the classic bits. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure that's what they had to do in all of it, having some of the yeah. bits of the film. Do you have a favorite of, of 
Of Chaplin? Mm -hmm. um, actually, I, I adore Modern Times. Mm. Modern Times is easily my favourite. That was the first time he employed actual sound into the film, but it still was a silent film, but he still, but there were moments where he actually employed sound in it, but nevertheless it was such a wonderful, wonderful film. The, the physical comedy was like through the roof, and mm. it had a great satirical slant, which I really, really enjoyed. And I do think that this film did that just fine. Now, as I've said, as, as the uh, lovely, handsome person who does the regular reviews on Cast Girls pointed out, the one thing we detest about biopics mm. is, of course, the time when they over-embellish everything, and you really can't trust its credibility mm. as a biopic. Yeah. And it drives you crazy, because you can never really find one that has the integrity, but I like the ones that actually take the piss and, and say that what I'm seeing it is bullshit. Yeah, yeah. That, that, and say that it's full of bullshit. I love the, the narrative device of Anthony Hopkins playing his biographer, Mm -hmm. As an elderly chaplain, also with incredible makeup. Yes, he looked that amazing great. makeup, and he's, he's so like young in that movie. Yes, like oh yeah, he was he was still, he was a little coke addicted baby <laughs> back in that time. It was it was quite a, it was quite amazing to see him so tiny. He looks so good in eyeliner though. Yes, he does. Oh just a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad I'm crossing my legs right now. <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> so my favorite chaplain. Well, I like just. So many of them, but my favorite, like actual little short, I guess, would be the when he comes home drunk and mm. he did, all he thinks all everything in his house wants to attack him. <laughs> I love it. That was a good bit. That okay. was an exceptional bit. That was the whole thing. But uh, Chaplin is good. It, it's a it's a good movie. It's, it's decent. You know it. It's just watch it. Just watch it. Have you seen it? Yeah, you, should put it? you, you, you probably it? should. And Comments, and, and, and even in lieu of its length, it never overstays its welcome. That's no, the best part. It's just enough. Yeah, you just never want to leave it just because it does such a wonderful job. Mm. So, and apart from Robert Downey Jr., great ensemble cast, amazing direction. If you have not seen it, you owe it to yourself. Forget, forget faux queen. Go to go to <laughs> Chaplin. <laughs> yes, Chaplin. Chaplin. <laughs> So if you want to see us do more reviews together, or any of the other uh, characters he's got, or I've got, uh, you know, on, yeah. the, on the nets, yes. uh, let us know, put it in the comments, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, ring that bell if you want, <laughs> and I'll uh, see you next time. Next time. Bye.